Elegant thinks Luigi's just a high tier. But at the end of the day, I told him like it, it, it just comes down to you're gonna play, you're gonna either change your play style and play like the new Luigi because you can't play Luigi like you used to play him. Right. Or you just play a different character that matches the play style you want to play. As you can see, he ended up just going with Luigi. He loves Luigi, um, and I commend him for that. Like at the end of the day, play what you want, play what you have fun with. And he loves playing Luigi, and he's, he's definitely making it work. Oh, oh. Untechable. Okay. That move's so scary because now there's Untechable, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Fortunately, not Untechable at, like, what was it, 30%, whatever it was. Yeah. But this is going to be a very tough recovery for Luigi regardless. As the double jump, I like the double jump into the side B as well for Elegant. Now, Luigi's offstage is pretty horrendous in this game. He doesn't have that Cyclone that kind of, like, stalls him in the air. Right. Or, like, like gives him, like, essentially, like, another jump. Um, so it's pretty much just missile and double jump and upbeat, which is very exploitable. Uh, and I mean, I feel like right, it, it's kind of up for grabs right now, but Elegant was the best Smash for Luigi. So trying to prove what Luigi has in this game. Luigi had got a fair amount of nerfs coming into Ultimate, so lost a lot of his tools that made him very, very strong in Smash 4. And of course, Gat, we saw him a little earlier against Pluck. Of course, the uh, Nest Extraordinaire. A character that has gotten uh, quite a bit of love, especially yes. in that, that offstage gameplay. I feel like PK Thunders off the side are incredibly scary in this game. With a, We've seen a lot of those two frames with the yo-yo, and it could be just a nightmare for Luigi to get back to the stage. But he's going to try to break out of that combo situation, using that tornado, using the intangibility on it. Just throw his arms out there, get off of me. Yeah, and I, actually, I just realized this is perfect. So I can explain to you guys why uh, Elegant is going to be using a lot of down B for combo breakers instead of the traditional Nair that most of you guys are used to. So you get intangibility on frame two on when you use the down B for Luigi, and the Nair comes out on frame three. So essentially, the uh, down B is just quicker, a quicker option for breaking combos. So we're going to see uh, Elegant try to abuse that. Also, a kill move off the top, and yeah. Even but stocks here in game one, but now Gak can strike right back with a PK fire, and. Scary spot to be, but now you're on top of the stage. You can probably find a way out of this if you're elegant, but he gets dragged to the right instead. Okay. Oh, he barely made it back. Wow. Okay, and Luigi is definitely known for those deadly grab combos at 0%, but he has a little bit too much rage, so he's not going to be able to get that zero to death. But, I mean, nonetheless, uh, Luigi still has a bunch of grab setups. He can even uh, down throw into up B. Uh -huh. in the air, and it's a pretty solid kill setup at around like the 60 to 80-ish mark. And that Elegant versus Mr. R set, we saw him bet it all on a down throw up that unfortunately missed. And that is the gimp there. <laughs> I mean, wow, what a turnaround from Elegant. He was pretty much down in entire stock in terms of percentage, like over 100%, just and really still abusing the fact that Ness not, have, not having the best recovery. There's the double jump. Yep, double jump into the missile so clutch, but the back throw is going to do cross stage. Nice nah, classic. Yeah, of course. We mentioned that a couple of times before, but oh. still works out. And this could be the stuff, but no, he actually DIs it away to yeah. make sure he falls off of the stage, not allowing any re-grab situation. Yeah, that was really good DI from Gat. You can also SDI in to uh, make it a little tricky. Oh, the down air. You are dead. Give me that offstage game. Elegant showing what Luigi can do to this uh, the, uh, the on-net boy. You can take away that... that killer gimp game from Luigi, but you can't take away from Elegant. He knows exactly when to fall down for those. Even if you lost the Tornado ability, he still knows that very tiny window where you can take advantage of Ness in that situation. And see you later, Alligator. Clutch as heck in game one. Yeah. Gat, pretty much more than half the game felt like he was in full control. Chipping away at Elegant. Um, Luigi still not the best traction in the game. Can suffer versus some of these floaty type zoners because just zoners can be hard for Luigi to get into because of the not so great traction. Right. And then on top of that, he wants to grab like more fast folly characters because he combos them harder. But if you're floaty, then when he does get in, he doesn't get as much damage. And he also, I mean, some of his worst matchups in the previous game were floaty zoners like Mewtwo and Rosaline. But, I mean, coming into this game, Ness, of course, still being a floatier type. But I almost kind of consider him a mix. You know, you got the PK fires. He's got some projectiles, yeah. but he also has got a bunch of boxing tools as well. That, that's what makes Ness scary, right? Is that he can yes. change his style at any time. It's like, I can I can play the, the wait and see game, PK Fire. I can come in and rush at you. Yeah. And if I float in with a Psy Magnet, that's one of the most terrifying positions to be in. But Ooh. whoa! <laughs> you heard the bell ring, and that's a stock here for Elegant, taking it right off a of Gat. And fun fact, you can now be Oh, oh I didn't answer back! Blow Ooh. for blow! <laughs> All right, Gat. All right. You're pretty sick. You, you spike me, I spike you, baby. Gat returning the favor all the way, and uh, 
Time to start this Smash 4 match. Two stocks apiece. <laughs> <laughs> This is so aggro, I love it. Yes. Oh man, yes. And we watched the Palutena Ditto, and now we got Luigi Ness. Okay, awesome. Yeah, very great cycle coming out from Elegant as well. And man, both these players just not afraid to go in, man. And uh, I mean, Elegant was very similar to that in Smash 4, and so is Gad, very, known for very aggressive play. There's the PK Fire, PK Thunder. Gonna send him up high, he has no double jump. <sighs> what a turnaround, though. You saw Gak throw out the up air, but just intangibility saves the day once again here for Elegant. Yeah, I mean, down B might be... <laughs> Uh, one of Luigi's best moves, honestly. It's uh, you set Absolutely. him to do it for kills. Oh, there's no double jump here. Oh wow, he, I'm pretty sure Elegant didn't want to grab the ledge there. Oh, but the back throw, yep, kind of reaching a little too far with that up smash, Elegant. Not not quite the range that we may remember. Yeah. Oh, another thing as well, Luigi's dash attack can kill, and it has way less lag. Like it's a pretty usable move. Oh yeah, that move's no longer an accident anymore. Yes, it's not yeah. a miss input, but. Another just great awareness on that little forward air snipe. Hit him with the chops, man. Quick chop. All you need is one. Yeah, exactly. Elegant still showing his uh, very strong edge guarding capability, even without the multi-hit spike of the Cyclone. Still showing that he can still get out there and use just Luigi's normals, man. Get these gimps on, on the board here. And again, every time a lot of people think that, you know, oh, he's out of a double jump. I can, I can get him. I can get him. And that's uh. when Elegant just turns on that Cyclone and just flips the situation around. You know, I've watched many of his sets now, dating back for a couple of years since he uh, burst onto the scene as newcomer in Smash 4, like 2016. Yeah. It never gets old watching just his killer instinct, this character. Oh, yeah. Such a talented young fellow. Oh, there's down throw up B. No, so, so close. You got back the throw. phantom coin, man. Yeah. yeah. Oh. There's the double jump. Okay. Now the PK Thunder juggles continue. Oh, but finally getting his way. Oh, what? Just faded out a little bit. Okay, you gotta watch that. Don't don't get crossed up on that DI. You want yep. a DI that kind of like Rob's up here. And go for it again. Yes, that's the 2-0 for wow. Elegant as he clutches it on the top platform. Amazing gameplay from both these players, but yes. Elegant comes out on top.